Hello, I'm Claudia Kay and welcome back to my channel. I have a glassware sale today. $2 glassware sale. Every single individual item will be $2 and some of them I have multiples of. To claim an item, you're going to say the um, number associated with the item. So say number 36 and then if I have four available and you want all four for $8, then you're going to say number 36, all four. But if you just want one, then you're going to say number 36, just one. And um, drop your comments down below. This sale I'm filming on Wednesday and it is going to run through um, sat Sunday, Saturday, run through the weekend. Um, and if I still have anything available, you can always email me later. I don't take the sale videos down. Uh, you can always email me and let me know. You can always ask and I can let you know if something's still available. And my email will be in the description box below. It is claudiakvintage at gmail.com. And if you have never purchased from me before, I will need you to email me your YouTube name, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. You don't have to have a PayPal account to check out on PayPal. You can check out as a guest but I only invoice through PayPal and I will be invoicing for this sale Sunday and Monday. And you can combine it with other sales. I had a sale this morning that was a live you can go back and watch and I might have one or two other sales, uh, static sales posted up this week. So we are going to get right into it. I will show you the glass. I will tell you the number I have available and then I will give you the number that is associated with that glass in order to purchase it. So first up I have Christmas glasses. I have a set of six. You can purchase one, you can purchase two, you can purchase all six. There is no limit on it. Just first come first serve. So these are Libby I believe. Yes I see a cursive L there on the bottom. So these are Libby. And none of the glasses I will be showing have any chips or cracks. Some do have dishwasher damage and I will point out when they have dishwasher damage. But these are in beautiful condition. So I have six available. They're this size. Number 15. Number 15. And next up, I have short ones. These are also Libby, but the pattern is different. I do want to point out the pattern is different. These do not match. But I think these are the perfect eggnog glasses. I have four of these available. And remember, each glass is only two dollars. So four of these available. Number 33. Number 33. Next up, you guys have never seen these before. I have a whole set of these. So there are five of the amber iced tea glasses. And to the best of my knowledge, none of these are um, dishwasher damaged. So five of this size, and these were, I found them listed as the iced tea glasses. Five available. Number 19. And then I have eight of the regular drinking glasses. Eight of this size available, and those are number nine. And then just to show you size comparison, I have the little ones available also. So I wanted to give you the size comparison. I have eight of the little ones available. Those are number 17. And then I have eight of the dessert sherbet available. Dessert cup, sherbet cup, number 32. Eight of those available. This next set, I have four available, and these were Indiana glass. I think the amber might have been Indiana glass, but I don't remember. 
and they have this square bottom. This is smoky blue. I adore. I think this color is fantastic. So I have four available of these and they are number 24. Number 24. I have four Whitehall clear available. And as I recall, this is the best looking one out of the group. I do believe that the other three may have a bit of water staining. I couldn't tell if it was actually um, dishwasher damage or water staining because sometimes they're a little bit different. But I have four Indiana Glass White Hall available and those are number three. Number three and I have four available. Next up, now these are dishwasher damaged, but Veglo. So I have four uranium water glasses with some dishwasher damage, unfortunately. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see it creates that cloudiness, but I have four available. Number 18. Four available. Number 18. And then, I don't believe these are super vintage-y, but they are super pretty. They have this gold, very heavy bottoms, very heavy thick bottoms, but I have four available of these, and they are a thinner, like if you compare them to the Whitehall, that gives you a size comparison. Whitehall are a big cup. So four available of these. I just think they're really pretty. They fit in with glassware this time of year with that gold. And I think they fit in really well with vintage glassware, even though I don't believe they're incredibly vintage. But a set of four of these, number 38. Next up, I have three of these. And these are the bigger Georgian honeycomb and they are anchor hawking tiny little anchor on the bottom so anchor hawking these do have a bit of water staining or dishwasher damage they're not I was going to keep them for myself um, because I sold the I had eight and I sold the four that were really nice um, there were four that were just more worn than the rest but I'm putting them in the $2 sale. So got four of these, no, three of these, sorry, three of these, three. And that is number 27 for the Amber Georgian Honeycomb by Anchor Hawking. I have a little bit of depression glassware. I have three of these. They are etched. And they're pink and it's that very thin glass from the depression era and these would these are the smaller these are not the wine but they're not the um i think the, i'm not sure what they consider these but wine glasses were bigger so these are the smaller ones three available two dollars a piece number eight Number eight. Next up, I have two of these available. Milk glass pineapple pattern. And I don't know who made them, but they are super, super pretty. So two of those available. Number 13. And, oh my goodness, I missed a set. These are Indiana glass, I believe. I have two of these. I've got to add those into the bottom here because I forgot to write them down even though they were in order. Oh. 
Okay, two of these available and they are number 11. And these are a nice big wine glass. You know, in the 70s, they started to make things that were bigger than they had been in previous eras. And so it's a nice hefty wine glass. So two available of those. And then I've got two available of these. Oh, I moved you guys. Took you for a ride there. Sorry. <laughs> two champagne coupes. The, the silver leaf pattern, not the gold. I've got two of these. I love the column on the stem. Absolutely love that. And it's a nice tall champagne coupe believe these were Libby. So those are number 30 and I have two. I have two available. Love those. Super pretty. Let's see if I can put it back down without moving you guys again. Okay, two juice glasses. These are federal and they do have dishwasher damage. They have been washed and loved and used Two of those available. Number 26. They're very sweet. I don't very often find federal glassware, so I was surprised to find these. And then I have these. I couldn't identify them, but they are so pretty. A little bit bigger than the juice glass, but I would bet these were still considered a juice glass. So I don't know who made them, but I've got two of these. Oh, I love the ripple on those. And they've got the grape and the leaf pattern. Number two, $2, two available, number two. Next up to, um, Tiffin King's Crown Sherberts. And Tiffin King's Crown had a more oval shaped divot here where Indiana Glass King's Crown was perfectly round. That is how I decided that these were Tiffin King's Crown, but two Kif Tiffin King's Crown Sherberts in really good condition with the red because a lot of time we see the red so worn you can't hardly tell it was there. Two of those available. Number 14. Number 14. To be super gentle. Next up, this one is an Anchor Hawking Vintage Daffodil. Just a single, but how stinking pretty is that? It's got the anchor there on the bottom. I think the color is in pretty good condition. Two dollars. Just one available. Number 31. Number 31. I have another pink depression glass. This one is also etched. We know that the better companies did the etching, but I don't know who made it. It is a different pattern than the smaller ones that I showed earlier. There's only one of these available and it is number 22. You can see the pink in there. Number 22. I have this little gold aperitif so look at it compared to the wine glass and compared to the wine glass from the 1970s. <laughs> this is such a big, this is like, oh. it's got a good hand fill. It's nice and sturdy. <laughs> it's 
So little aperitif glass and this gold, whatever this is that this, that they do, this finish that they put on the glass, this goes along with George Briard. Um, this, I'm not saying this is a George Briard cup. I'm just saying it goes along with all of that George Briard. He did a lot of this. And so when I was collecting George Briard, I had this displayed with it and it looked really pretty, but I'm no longer collecting George Briard, so I don't need this little cup anymore. And it is number one, one available, number one. That was all the glasses. Now I have some mugs and cups. So I have four available of the grog mugs in the white glass. Four available, $2 each, number 16. Number 16. Next up, this is a handmade mug with a square bottom. It's this size. One available, number 35. Next up, this is a Paul Sebastian crystal mug, but I do believe it has a bit of dishwasher damage. Still a really nice mug. It's a good size. This one is number 20. Number 20 for the Paul Sebastian mug, one available. Next up, this mug was made in Indonesia, but the original pattern was an Arcarok pattern. Um, and I don't know if they sold off their patterns or if this was a copycat, but it's very pretty. And the bottom says made in Indonesia. And this one is one available. Number seven for $2. This one is a bit smaller than the Paul Sebastian mug. All right, last but not least, I have some cups and saucers. $2 for the cup and the saucer. This one is Fiesta Ware, not vintage, but it is this gorgeous blue color. No chips, no cracks. Fiesta Ware there on the bottom. And this one is number 37. Just one available. Number 37. And then, I gotta figure out somewhere to put that. I have this pink one. I do not know who made these. I have no idea but it's got this really pretty ripple pattern and it ombres, the plate ombres out, the cup ombres up, and $2 for the cup in the saucer, number 23. Next up is the yellow. That one is number four. Only one available of each of these. Next up is the orange, number 36. And last but not least is the blue. Number 29. Number 29. If you hung out with me till the end, thank you for watching the whole thing. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here. Look for a um, couple more static sales this week. If you buy more, you save on shipping. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my glassware. I think maybe next year I'm going to have to be on a glassware buying ban.
because I think I'll get too much. So remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything. It may mean everything to someone else. My cat is over there pulling ornaments out of the tree. I will see you guys later. Bye.